today so far we've, we have in the region 65,000 which is fantastic for the, our opening day and overall the three days we'd be anticipating we'll have about 180,000 so great attendance. On the Tuesday would be about 20, 25,000 more than we had on Tuesday of last year. Our biggest day last year would have been about 79,000 and um, we always have, for a number of years now the figures have really built because initially it used to be very much just a farmer's day out and now really it's everybody in the family. All about agriculture in rural Ireland, that's a, that's a big factor in it. And, um, you know, we really have a cross-section of every kind of exhibit that's going to interest every member of the family. And um, it's also a place, too, that people in farming can come and find out what's happening in farming, where prices are going, what they can expect for the future, what regulations are, come, are going to be enforced. There's lots of seminars, all the rural organisations are here as well. We have 1,100 exhibitors at the event this year, and there's a cross-section in size of, of the exhibitors, a huge cross-section. You know, you have the small uh, company that's literally making some, some piece of, of craft. It might be a piece of, of woodcraft. It might be somebody doing some handbags or, or handmade jewellery. And then you have the huge companies that are doing things like tractors or combines or, you know, big farm machinery. So the big cross-section. But we've been talking to a lot of small to medium sized businesses I suppose over the last two years since the, the real slump in the, in the economy and we would find that they really have to be out there and their attitude is they have to show their wares so they don't have a choice about spending the, the money to get out there. At the same time you know we'd have, we'd have dealt with a lot of them insofar as trying to work with them to have their stand a size that they can afford and still the, having a presence and that's, that's really where they've been going. But I have to say I think companies in Ireland they're very motivated they don't just, just lie down if, if people think there's any possibility of a bit business and get out there and, and try and find a market and the championships are very important to the local economy you know they're coming at a time when it's just at the end of the tourist season so you know obviously the fact that every bed for miles and miles around is filled and all the eateries and all the confectionery um, retails are also used and you know lots of local services are used during the event and in addition to that you know there's so many people in the community for a number of weeks before and after setting up stands and removing stands as well it's reported that it would be worth about 10 to 15 million for the local economy everything from the corner shop where people will go in and they'll get a, they'll get a sandwich if they're, they're bringing a team of workers down for the day and it's all important and we have a very good feedback from the Atai Town Council and the businesses in Atai that you know they certainly think it's worthwhile having the event in the area. You know essentially we have a very small staff of four full-time people and then we have temporary staff in for the, the summer time and we'll have about eight of us in total but you know I think what's really really important it's always been said in the NPA that everybody being at the one level and you know taking everybody's um, everybody's ability I suppose and everybody's knowledge and bringing that into the decision making and not really having too much of a tiered system in, uh, in, the, in the company.